So, Shox released their new OpenSwim Pro headphones, and by now you've probably watched a dozen of sponsored videos. Now, this is absolutely non-sponsored take. I paid for these myself, just like I did for two previous pairs, so the Open Runs and the Open Swims. You can check out my review of Open Swims somewhere here. I'll try not to repeat myself. If you're looking at this video, that means you kind of know what you're looking for. You know how they work and you probably dived in into specs of waveforms and all this kind of shit that is a little bit irrelevant if you're just an end user like me and if you're a little bit tone deaf like me. So when I say tone deaf, I don't mean I can't hear stuff, but some people are claiming that these are somehow much better than previous headphones. And I'm sorry, I just can't hear that. Like, you can feel they've got a little bit more punch, okay? So the bass, there's a little bit more of that. But it's not anywhere oh, yeah. revolutionary, you know? It's not like, oh my god, these are must-haves. They are basically these two headphones combined into one. So, the design? Design is almost identical when it comes to size to the open swim Sorry, I'm trying to swap them over, I'm grabbing the wrong ones to the Open Swim ones. So they're exactly the same size. The only thing is that Open Swims have the same button layer as the Open Runs, uh, with just the charging port moved from this little place here to the bottom of it. It's still proprietary. Keep a Polish guy proprietary. It is still their own <laughs> charging system, so you still need to keep a cable with you, which I'll get to in a second. But design-wise, these are exactly the same as all the previous shocks, so they will fit the same, they will sit on your head the same, and they will be just as resistant to falling off as the previous headphones. Now, I've managed to use them in a number of different sports, so between running, which I don't really like, but I have to, because it feels like I should be running at my age and keeping the cardio up, cycling, kite surfing, I swam in them, I tried paddle surfing these, and that's kind of a doable, but I do prefer to hear what's going on when I'm on the surfboard, because People tend to drop in on you or you tend to drop on to other people and I just want to make sure they, they know I'm paying attention. So I only took them once just to see if they're gonna fall off when I'm getting tumbled and they haven't. As you'll see on this video when kite surfing, I did have a wee tether on the back just in case because these were brand new out of the box and I really didn't want to prove myself wrong on the first session losing them. As far as sound quality goes, like I said before, they feel a little bit more punchy than the previous editions. I don't know if it's like a massive difference, it definitely isn't for me, but there you go, they got a little bit more bass. Beside that, they've got two equalizers mode per mode. So you've got two for Bluetooth and two for the MP3. The only thing they make is they make the sound very flat. So the Bluetooth mode has something like a vocal enhancement which should make podcasts better and it just doesn't, it just feels weird. The same with the swimming mode, even with earplugs on, when you're in the swimming pool, when your head goes underwater, it just feels too flat. These, just like the previous open swims, they just sound best on the standard equalizer setting. Might be just me, you know, test it out if you get yours, but I, I, I just wouldn't bother. Um, I remember someone actually mentioned in my previous video that I haven't had a, a footage of me swimming with these on in the swimming pool. So just to clarify, I'm okay filming myself in public, um, just not okay doing this in a swimming pool when people are in their swimming costumes and there are kids around. You have to be a special kind of person to be filming in that kind of environment. Asking for stuff like that is a little bit creepy, dude. Don't. Now onto battery life, because these apparently have double, over double uh, battery capacity when compared to the open swims. I don't get anywhere near the advertised run times. However, I do get about six hours in Bluetooth mode and about maybe four and a half hours in MP3. And that said, they are always on a full blast because Otherwise, you can't hear anything if there's any environmental noise, if there's any cars going past you. When you're swimming, you're okay on a half volume, because as soon as your head goes underwater, these do magic, and you can hear the sound much, much better. So actually, these work better <laughs> if you're underwater, um, regardless of the sound settings. So this is sound leakage test. I know some people are a little bit concerned about others listening to their music. So yeah, there you go. This is full blast on the iPhone and these headphones in-house. There you go.
when it comes to charging, as I've mentioned before, this is like their own system. You've got a little cable that just magnetically attaches here. So that's the same as in the previous versions. They've been doing this for 15 years. And I would assume that after 15 years, they would find a way of adding wireless charging to this. Because when you're traveling right now, most of us have wireless charging mats for our watches, for phones, for everything. So it'd be nice just to be able to chuck them with all the rest of the gear and just charge these up. Or at least, come on, shocks, like who's using USB-A in 2024? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an Amazon OEM products OEM chargers for these at some point, hopefully. A good thing about these is that they do have a fast charge mode, so you can juice them up in 15 minutes and go for a few hours of running later. So if you forgot to charge them overnight, they were sitting somewhere on the drawer, just give them 15 minutes and you're good to go. Unless you're planning to run on Ultra, then the, you, you, you just messed up. Now, onto ruggedness, right? These things are not bulletproof, but they have to be very close to bulletproof. I don't treat my gear very well, and typically they just end up flying inside of my van or they're getting chucked into my bag with all the camera gear and other stuff and they're just getting crushed and smashed into and and you can tell they've got ugh, loads of scratches everywhere. But there's so much use and abuse. I'm pretty well stoked with these because I wasn't expecting these will survive that long. Good quality, guys. When it comes to using these when you're out and about, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You've got a button here to pause music, to, you know, double tap to go forward, triple tap to go backwards. You've got your volume settings on this side and you can also switch the modes by just pressing both plus and minus buttons at the same time. So it's pretty standard, same as in the previous ones, maybe with the exception of the open swim pros because they had those little the tiny little buttons here and then they had a big one, which didn't really make sense. This one's a little bit more accentuated, I've not by much. It's just you can actually feel it under your finger if you're not wearing gloves. If you're cycling with gloves like me here trying to find the buttons, it, that just doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, you might get used to after a while where the buttons are, but still it's just like it takes a little few minutes just to, to just to find them. One of the many questions is whether these stay on your head and uh, yeah, they do. Like I had a lot of wipeouts kite surfing and surfing so they stayed on thankfully i didn't wipe out on a bike again because this is this is as far as, as my shoulder goes you know when you're leveled these are never going to come off when you're running obviously there's no chance these will ever fall off your head when swimming i haven't felt any drag behind me i don't often swim in the swimming cup but obviously they fit just under no problem whatsoever when cycling, you can't use a full face helmet for obvious reasons. You've got this massive band, but also there's no chance you're going to control these here. In open face, yeah, no problem whatsoever, as you can see here. It's just an easy fit. Obviously, it's a little bit fiddly when you try to get to the buttons, as I explained. New capacity means that you can put 8,000 songs on these. Um, the problem with that is that 8,000 songs that you have no control over is a big mess. So if you're going for a run, typically just use Bluetooth function, right? So you've got your watch and you just choose the, the playlist that suits best your workout. But if you're swimming, you're kind of dependent on the shuffle you've got inside of the headphones, just like the old good iPods. I think it would be nice to be able to categorize all the music into the separate folders so you can shuffle through them on the headphones themselves or even inside of the app, just having that function because music you're listening to when running, when swimming, when cycling is totally different, especially when I'm kite surfing, I like something really heavy because I feel like I'm invincible and typically I run out of the skill much faster. So it's not a massive thing, but it would be nice to have at this point. Maybe an edition, right? There are obviously alternatives to, to shocks. You know, I've picked these guys up for one of my kids of Amazon for I think 30 bucks and they work. You know, they, they sound okay. They're nothing close to shocks when it comes to music quality, but they are just fine. They're kind of a splash proof, waterproof, rainproof. They've, again, they've been used by my kids and they still work fine. And they're kind of the same ergonomics ish, right? So they're much stiffer. <laughs> they're not as comfortable but they do the trick. Question I get asked by my friends is that if the shocks are really worth their price and uh, that really depends. I always look at everything by the use case so if I know that I'll be using that item often I have no issue spending slightly more to have a better quality equipment. If you're just getting into running you watch a couple of motivational videos and you think you're going to be a great runner start running first with your own headphones and see how it feels. Think where you could spend that money better. If you've got a good set of headphones right now, maybe just wait until you see yourself running more and more. Same with cyclists and swimming. 
you know, it is an expensive headset, given that this is never going to be your main headset. The sound quality in any bone conducting headphones isn't anywhere near even your cheaper headphones that you buy off Amazon. Open Swim Pro's microphone. So this is what you would expect to hear on the other side of the call. There are a couple of cars going by just now. So the standard thing you'd have on the street, it's not mega loud here. There's not much wind, but it should give you an idea of how these headsets sound like when you're making the call. The app is pretty basic, but gives you all the information you really need. You've got the choice to switch between the MP3 mode, which we're in just now and Bluetooth mode. You can also switch if you're MP3 mode between standard and swimming modes, which as I explained earlier, I prefer the standard for pretty much everything. Then you've got your playback as normal. So, you know, the songs just go on in the order there on your device. You can do shuffle or you can use the repeat, which basically makes very little sense. You can customize some of the controls, which is your action button and those two buttons on the bottom. I think the default setting for me at least works best. And then if you switch over to Bluetooth mode, that gives you an option for both standard and vocal enhancement. And again, that vocal enhancement just felt too flat for me. So might be my personal preference. Just play around with these, see what you feel is the best. And then you can use the multi-point pairing, which means you've got a couple of different devices connected to these. And if you go into customized controls, you've got the same thing. You can switch between the voice assistant and mode switching between Bluetooth and MP3 using that side button when you press it down. And the same goes for two volume buttons on the bottom. So pretty basic app, but it definitely does the trick. So who are these for? I mean, if you're one of those people who do triathlons, uh, this is kind of a no brainer. Being able to run with your music, then swim, then cycle. Yeah, I mean, gold standard, right? They just do that very well. If you're just dipping into different sports and you're just testing the water, I mean, just, just make sure you're spending that $160 on the right set of headphones. If you're not swimming often, the Open Run Pros are just fine and they will save you 40 bucks. And I've had them for a very long time. They sound pretty much the same as these ones and are just cheaper. The same goes if you're just swimming or kite surfing, because that's what a lot of us do. They keep you aware of what's going on around you when on the water, but also you can listen to some kick-ass music when you're riding or surfing or whatever which is really, really cool. That's my use case. When it comes to swimming, again, you know, if you swim often, swimming for music is a really cool experience. And I know that people keep saying that you should just enjoy the activity, especially when you're outdoors. I like enjoying activities in my own way. Thank you. I like listening to music when I'm doing that. And I also like stopping to take millions of pictures. That's why my running graph is shit. And if you have any questions about these headphones, obviously drop them below. I've linked up again the previous review somewhere somewhere here on the side, on one of the sides. Have a look through that. It's pretty much the same experience as the Open Swims with the added benefit of the Bluetooth. I don't know, that's it. Good product, not revolutionary. They have already did that in previous editions. It's just a solid, solid performer. And that also means I can sell two of the other headsets, so I have to only remember to charge one. It is kind of a win. Have a good one.